brought a model to show what happens to water particles when energy is added by heating the water, adding thermal energy, versus what happens to water particles when energy is added by running electricity into the water. Okay. Question? Oh, are you going to answer it? Oh, go ahead. Figure out. When, when, when we heat the water, you collect the gas, and when we collected it, it turned back into a liquid. And then when we tested it with other um, like substances, it had the same density as water. So we thought it was water, and it is water. And then that's how we figured it out. And then for the second question, when we added electrical. Well, so with the, let me just say, thumbs up if you agree with her, with Jay's um, evidence and reasoning for that the, when we added thermal energy, the gas produced was gaseous water, water into gas water. Thumbs up if you agree, thumbs down if you don't agree. For thermal energy, we're adding heat. So thumbs up if you agree, thumbs down if you disagree, Sideways, if you are. You have lots of thumbs up. And I see. Oh, you, what? What? You, you got bullied into putting your oh, thumb no. up? You sure? Why would? Why did you initially have it on the side? Because I didn't. I didn't know what you said. Oh, well, okay. So i um, Don't. So don't agree if you don't know what you're agreeing to, right? Um, so, Jayza, could you just quickly say that, summarize that again, just a little louder? When we heated the water, you collected the gas, and when we tested the density with other substances, it was the closest to the water's density. So, the unknown gas had to be water. Good. Okay. How could we represent that? How could we model what went on? And notice the question is specifically saying the water particles. Rachel? I did the cup, right? And then like a mini stove under in the fire, and then the water particles sending into gas going up. And so, so how did you show the particles? Circles. 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 And then how did you show the particles after? Turning back into water. How'd you show that? Like, can I, I see? <laughs> I like shaded it in. <laughs> so, shading it in, how does that show a difference? Because it's showing, because the circle gas, right, is empty. But when they shade it in, it shows it going back to water because the water is like shaded in two. You should label that. I did. Uh, you could have just said that then. What do people think about that? Okay. <laughs> Jolene, oh, Kaylani, what do you think about that? Um, can I add on? Like, um, so how I represent it is once a liquid is heated, the there's kinetic energy in the particles, so like the particles move in in, in, a, in a way, but it's still water, still water molecules, but they're just moving around. So how do you know it's still water? Because... We tested it out. We have that way How we, on the model, like can you envision, how can you demonstrate that before boiling it and after boiling it, mm -hmm. it's still the substance water. Um, because well, the particles wouldn't change; they would just get farther apart. So 
Yes, and yeah, when you when you're drawing the gas, you just draw them like a little further apart. But then when you draw them like they just draw the circles closer to it. We like that. So we show that it's if, if I'm hearing you correctly. Tell me if I'm not. If I the way we show that is by keeping the way the particles the way they look the same, right? Yes. Do you, you want to go up and demonstrate that? Oh, okay. Can I tell what she said, but in different words? You sure can. <laughs> okay, I think. And then, the, and then um, Angelique will be. <coughs> they're, they're in the box on the. That the molecules of the particles the particles of the substance does not change because of its phase it stays the same but they just spread apart and move together okay how do we get thumbs up if you agree with that thumbs down if no <coughs> Simon Ahmed you, you are thumbs up Because we're saying different things. Exactly. Oh, good. Yeah, do you know we're not saying, like, okay, can I go up? Yes. She doesn't know what we're doing. I'm not saying that the things are the same particle. I'm asking if this the squares and this square is the same particle. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. So, like, they they they're two color. different um, options. Because the square. I understand the two options. First of all, it should be another arrow that if it's a different option. And it should be the same color. So, it's just a bit confused. Okay. It confused me, so it does matter. Okay, so let's fix that. Let's be consistent. All triangles will be purple. Thank you. All circles will be green. No, 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 no. Isn't it different options or different areas? Yeah. It, so, it's so it's just, just water. so the first, they're different models, right? Okay. So the first model suggested was the triangle represents water. Okay. And that after we add electrical energy, <laughs> the water particle separation become forms 
uh, an oxygen particle. This is oxygen? Yeah. Someone say oxygen. And okay. two. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be two squares, not one. <laughs> and two hydrogen particles. Right? Two? Two. So two squares? Two squares. Oh. Now, do we have evidence for that? Do we have evidence we have, for the yeah. fact that, or did I just give you information that, Jolanti? Um, <laughs> I actually wrote something. Okay, so we do have evidence for, wait, for the two hydrogen? Yeah. We do have evidence that there's two hydrogen whereas there's one oxygen because when there were the test tubes, there was twice as much gas in the left test tube, which was the hydrogen, than there was in the oxygen okay. test tube. So we do know that this is what happens when the water particle gets split. 